Now, moving on to another accident that occurred this uh, Friday afternoon here in Seoul. Two subway trains uh, collided with each other, leaving around 200 people injured. Let's go directly to our Pun Soa for the latest. So, Soa, how serious has the situation become? It seems like the number of injured has gone up. That's right. As the story first broke, around 40 were reportedly injured, but now the number stands at around 200, and this includes two foreigners. Around 150 are getting medical help at local hospitals, and uh, most of the injuries are reportedly minor, but at least two are said to have suffered bone fractures, and one of the drivers involved in the accident was seriously injured. This after a subway train traveling on Line 2 that was heading from Sang. Wangshimni Station to Hongsu Station crashed into a stationary train at around 3.30 p.m. Korea time. A witnesses in the second train said it was slowing down and stopped and started a number of times before it crashed with a loud bang into the subway car ahead of it. Witnesses or passengers said they did not receive any instructions nor did they hear any announcements for about 20 minutes, causing a lot of confusion and chaos. And some of them actually said they had to force open the doors themselves. But the CEO of Seoul Metro said that about five minutes after the crash, the first announcements by officials were made in both subways. Passengers were evacuated 30 minutes after the accident. Now, do we know what caused the two trains to collide? Well, Seoul Metro Authority said they will first focus on the recovery process, which, according to the CEO, should have ended by now, actually. Uh, investigations into the cause will come next, but there is the possibility that the so-called automatic train stop system was not functioning properly and that the driver in the second subway could not see the subway ahead of him due to the curved tracks. That's all I have for now, but we will have more updates later on.